Double Comments. We're here on our group sewing and embroidery while full-time RVing. I was just going to show you a couple of things today. I'm going to try to do something every two or three days, but today I wanted to show you how you take a pot holder and make a little bag. It'll you can fold it together. It looks like looks like a little bow for a bill bow. But what it is, it's going to be folded like this. It's got a hook on it. All you got to do is put a button on it. Sew a button, and and it'll and it just hooks onto it. But the inside's what you have to think about. And what I use is Ziploc bags. Now I use I use the the real Ziplocs, not the um. It's the sandwich bags, but I wanted the better ones. But also, I will tell you, since I bought these, what I found, and I think this would even be neater, is they've got colored Ziploc bags. So it's different colors. So that would try. That's another thing that would draw the attention. But you, what you do is you take this bag, make sure that if you got a butterfly, that you got the butterfly upwards or whatever your design is up, where it don't look like you got it backwards when you're doing it. One's going to be, but you want the, to, well, to be honest with you, let's see, that, that one's going to be upside down. Okay. There you go with the butterfly. And you're going to sew the button on. And I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to tell you. You take your Ziploc bags like this. You get another one and you turn it this way, right reverse of what you're doing. So you've got both just like that. You keep going and now you put it back to this side. And then you keep, then you get another one. Now what you've got, do it the other way. You've got two on each side that you can use. What I do is use three. So we come to the, flip it to this side. One more, and it makes me have I, I, it makes me have um, six. Well, actually, I've got six. Make sure you have three on one side and three on the other side, so you got six bags. Do them like this. Make sure you kind of get them even. And these pot holders came from. They came from. Uh, Dollar General was it? I think it was Dollar General. And there, because when I went to Walmart to get get them, you have to you have to buy bags. I mean, not the bags, but the dish towel and the uh, uh, pot holder together. And it runs up into money. I didn't want the dish rag to go with it because it's got its own design. So I didn't want that. And they do have a few pot holders that's not like that, but they're they're kind of. They're not square like this. They're kind of a egg shape, and that it wouldn't it wouldn't go as good. So you just do this like this, and you go down and sew it in the middle. I'm gonna go ahead and sew it for you. My machine. I guess I'm on boost. Baby lock. I have a, bel a baby lock elegante too, and I don't know where all y'all live, but. Where we live, we have a lady, which is a good friend of mine, that sells them. Ruth Barnhill. So I'm putting a plug in for her. She's always been number one in sales. And she gives you so much stuff that normally at more places you have to buy them. And, but she'll give, you, she'll give you enough stuff to get started. Ruthie's Notions. And it's, it's really called Ruth's, Ruthie's Notion, so that's why you can look it up. And you, she has classes; she has free classes. It's just really, really good. Okay, I'm gonna sew. If I find now, you, you do you do know I live in an RV, and if you can look around here, I've got garbage thing there. I got zippers in this little thing, and this is what I showed y'all the other day. I got goodies in this that I use with it. So that's really, really handy. And I stack stuff up. So, you know, that's, I've got this out of even since I started the talking, but let me just get it back. There's nothing to get it back. Now, I will tell you this. I'm big 
on using these clips, the clip things. You can buy these from Joann's. They're more expensive than pins. But let me tell you something. You don't stick yourself all the, all the time. And now you do have to use pins sometimes because the way, it's, the way they are, they're not as long and sometimes you might have to slip a pin in. But as a rule of thumb, most everything it works good for. You just have to take them out. Now, most of people would fold this thing and get the middle of it to where they could sew their line. But I've sewn it enough, I guess, or got lazy one, that I just, I just eyeball it. And it usually turned, or it has so far, turned out real good. But you see it just a sew. I don't know if I told you in some videos the other day, but when I make those bags, I'm talking about the makeup bags like Lori Nunmaker does, and I um, I use a 16 needle for those vinyls that I use, I, and I, since I've got using it, I just use it for all of it because it it'll go over real good, and you don't have to you don't have to go back thread and re-sew and thread and re-sew so. Okay, there's your bag. Now I'm gonna show you what I go in here and do. I take <clears throat> the first one is the end of the bag, not the Ziploc on it. You're gonna cut that to make it where you can get it, everything done on it. Sorry about that on my phone, but I shut it off. Okay, I go in here and I, I get as close to the line as I can. It does pretty good because it's plastic, so it does good. Now get to your next one. Just be careful and don't sew into, don't cut into your seam where there's seam together or you will have problems. Okay, let's see. Here's another one. They can't put anything in this bottom part, so that's why we cut it and that's why we don't do them two different ways. I think we got one, one more, here's one. That one would be a little stubborn. Most of the time they're just easy. We just got one more. So I actually mine is six of those to cut, so you've got Four on one side, one, two, three, four, and no, they're not, they're three. Three on it, but here's the center. You got three on one side and three on the other side, and you just, oh, they can open up, put stuff in it now. I have made some, and I, I was gonna give some to my grandkids, but I have not seen them in the last couple of days, so I hadn't done it. But my little girls, I got 13 grandkids, I have eight granddaughters, and I have five grandsons, so we have fun with them. This is it. This is it right here. There's your little hook, and all you gotta do is sew a button on this over here. And when you sew that button, it, just any kind of button, but just, it'll hook on it. I would have one to show you, but we packed up our stuff because we're going to a, do a festival this weekend, so. But that's that's the uh, pot holder. And it seemed like I was gonna show you something else. Well, this was just all the pot holders that I had. And you can just get different designs. And those came, those were a dollar a piece. So that makes that real cheap. And of course, you see this on, you see this on um, Lori, she makes them. But what I've been doing when I had several, I just go ahead and put my zipper in. And I'm not gonna finish this right now because y'all know how to go to her tutorial and find out. But I was just going to show you how, you know, I'll just sew all the zippers in. 
and then once I sew them, then I start dividing out how I want to do it. Okay, show my ribbons, Mike. I want you to see my ribbon over here that I used on the, not on the bottom ones, but I use those ribbons for tabs or pulls on these um, placemat bags, and there's different colors. I got a lot more colors, uh, but I actually got, got went in the shed and got those those where I could. You can order those stuff at a real reasonable price and get than getting it in Walmart. It's really cheap. If you're gonna if you're gonna do it, use them a lot. I had bought them ahead of time when I when I made dresses, and so I just have them. So I had them for this. Okay, well that's gonna include include all we're gonna do for today. And there's several things that we're gonna get back with tutorials on. Gonna do um, I'm gonna do the baby quilts that I make for my grandkids. One, one's going to be on that. I do. I have recipe book that I, you've already seen the picture of it. I'm going to tell you what I've done in that. Also, I have ancestor books of my grandparents. And I'm going to, uh, I'm on both sides, my husband and mine. And I've done books with them. I had to go to a, a lot of relatives and get the pictures, but I got them. But I'm going to tell you that and how to do it in a later video. And I was going to sh show you my embroidery machine because you're going to get a next video probably on that because I'm going to do some hand towels for the festival this weekend. So, you got it, Mike? Yeah. Okay, well, that's all for today. See ya. Bye-bye. I'm glad I made this journey with We pray we'll see you in the rapture.